Okay, hello, 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 and welcome everybody. So welcome back. And we are gonna do some more stuff in our Let's Play world today. Um, so first things first, it is now thunderstorming. So we're gonna take a nap. And it's gonna be good because I have been spending a little bit of time AFK and I will show you guys why here momentarily. But first things first, we got to sleep and get rid of the thunderstorm and the rain. Okie doke. Now that's all gone. I am going to show you guys I ended up because I know we needed iron, right? There's our iron right there. So I ended up making an iron farm off camera. It's actually very simple and easy to make. A lot easier than I thought it was going to be. So it's three villagers with the Zambi. There's Zambi, three villagers, beds, workstations, and buttons, and a simple kill chamber. So I'm curious to see how much. Um, um, okay, we're good on iron for a while. My god. I have, I have, hi. Yeah, so we don't have to worry about iron anymore. <laughs> Holy smokes. Yeah, I AK for maybe two-ish hours, maybe. So we got plenty of iron now. I can actually make iron gear. Um, but I'm going to need XP. We may need to go up there to do the XP. Um, but doing this means I can now make an anvil as well. Or at least a couple of anvils. Um, so we're gonna do that. A couple of anvils. We're gonna put one by the enchanting setup because that's usually where we need it. So let's put one in here, and then the other one we'll put up at the top of the world, I think. Up at the mob farm. But yeah, that didn't... I mean, I built this farm not thinking anything of it and think it would, you know, provide a huge amount, but it has actually provided us a very large amount of iron, so I am very happy about that. Just did a little bit of clearing here, but now we got to go up to our mob farm. Hey, Jer. We're going to try to get horses and bees today, I think. I'm good. You? You going to stick around for a while now? <laughs> I can't force you to do anything. You know that. Okay, so... Let's see if we can get some XP. Actually, probably turn this into hoppers now that we have the iron. Okay. We're gonna put an anvil up here too. Do I want an anvil up here though? Yeah, why not? Oh, a zombie villager. Oh, that would have been nice. any hoppers up with me. Oh well. It's fine. Just need the levels. So we're just going to sit here for a couple of minutes. Get the levels we need. Sticks. I don't know how I got sticks. Oh, that's for the that. 
that. Use our spyglass. Oh, we can't even see it. Oh, we can. It's kind of funny. I can actually see the iron golem still taking damage. And that's how we're getting our iron. Just a couple of blocks there to fill this in. Oh well, I could do that later too. No, not gonna spawn another one yet. Come on. I hear a baby. Yeah, that's not good. There we go. So yeah, that spawns golems about, I don't know, once every 30 seconds maybe? It's not bad at all. goodies and I will get this automated now we have a full stack okay try to find a horse today which means we'll have to travel that way maybe we can get some bees too because that'd be very nice to have some honey blocks around but I did some research and I found out for villagers for where are my villagers my villagers are Villagers are over there. We can't see it right now, but with the new experimental settings, we're not going to get mending very easily in this world. Hey, an iron ingot. Very nice. The only way we're going to get mending is probably by fishing or... We're gonna have to go to the swamp biome, which is really gonna suck. Ooh, that sounds like a hurt creeper. Okay, I'm gonna probably try to get to level like 40 here if I can. Because if we can get to 40, then I think we can do full iron enchanted. It's not gonna be as good as diamond, but I don't have enough diamonds yet. But having iron now opened up a lot of possibilities for us. We can still trade with villagers, it's just the librarian trades have been adjusted, so... Getting specific books are going to be a lot harder. Which I think is a good change, it's just irritating because I like getting easy mending. Maybe we'll wait till 35. to see that the golems are still taking damage while we're up here so we're still accumulating iron while we're at the moth farm pretty dang nice i don't think we'll get many spiders we might get some but i don't think we'll get a huge amount oh now is it starting to get nighttime too Cause that's the moon right Sun's going down.
What do you think of the house, Jeremy? If you're still here. <laughs> is it though? I don't know if it is or not. It's flammable. It has me really concerned. It's very flammable, though. Well, you're still learning. It's fine. Not to say it didn't take me long. It took me hours, but we get a shovel out of that? Okay. You just gotta find what you're good at in the game. Everybody's good at something in the game. Oh yeah, we got in infinite lava to end up finding dripstone. I was exploring between streams, found a dripstone, so now we have basically infinite lava. Which is kind of how I was able to make this. Yeah, but that's only one aspect. There's more to it. Like, you could make this. Come on now, you could. If you're just a creative builder, that's fine, too. So now it's nighttime. We should be able to get to 35. And hopefully be able to enchant most stuff, hopefully. Maybe we'll go 36, I don't know. I bet you're good at parkour, Jeremy. <laughs> no? You couldn't, like, hop on fences like or gate our balls like this? Come on now. You don't know until you try, right? I gotta try new things. Come on now. I really gotta light this up though. Now that we have iron, I can. What, four or five golems now since we've been up here at least? Six golems maybe? What, this? Nah, no, nah, this is nothing. There's far better people and things out there than mine. It's very basic. Oh, come on, Jeremy, you know I struggle with compliments. You know this. Everybody knows this. <laughs> I 
This is the only thing I'm good at though, right? I'm not good at anything else, right? It's so funny, we can see that the sheep are eating the grass. We can't see the sheep. seal that wall up again whoops yeah I, I really gotta yeah we got do I have I don't have any on me okay potato baby took the potato oh that's a zombie villager cheese okay so it would have been a really good early on to get either that or that, but we eventually got it, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the chests are definitely filling up very quickly. It's not a good thing. Six, kill these last few off and let's go and see what we can get shall we I can go like this we go down and into the water we go <laughs> so let's go enchant uh, let's go make some fresh iron armor enchant all our gear because I really don't want to be killed by freaking drowns anymore okay so I could put a fence gate here that's not a problem let's make a fence gate quick and I'm gonna be crazy we're gonna make it out of something completely different because why the heck not <clears throat> Oak gets old fast. I like bamboo. Do we have extra? We don't. Well, we have some, but I like bamboo. If only we had pandas, but I don't think we could get a panda back here, so. so fast too that's fine because we need a lot of it makes for a good wall too <laughs> see Jeremy you could you could jump through all this right <laughs> Come on, you never know until you try. Oh, and we're inventory's full. That's yeah, that's not a good thing. Now that I have iron, I can automate a lot of farms now. Like this would be one that we would definitely automate. We'd automate this, we'd automate sugarcane. This would be easy to automate. jump from one section to the other although I don't know it might be a lot harder on a controller so maybe it is harder on a controller I don't know I'm just a noob I don't know what I'm talking about I don't know how to play this game okay so we'll make some planks Make some sticks, and <laughs> we'll make a bamboo fence. Well, let's make a few. Why not? Just to have them on hand. And I'm actually gonna put these with the rest of the wood stuff over yonder. Put 
that there. We need to get the wall pieces. I think it was just two, if I remember correctly. I am not a professional, so please don't say I am, because I am not. I know enough to get by. <laughs> we can use these flowers later if we can get the bees, hopefully. Oh, am I gonna, oh, I'm gonna need more. Oh, crap, okay. See, I really need to get a horse. That's one of our objectives today, is to get a horse. Because traveling around is so much easier on a horse. Okay, so we'll do that. Do I have, I have the saddle. I don't think I have horse armor though. Okay, I don't think, I, yeah, I don't think I do. Okay, it's fine. Uh, I can dump a couple of these in here. I don't know if I have a whole lot of coal left. I thought I did. Oh, I do. Okay, so we'll take some coal. We'll need some torches. Make some lanterns. Uh, for right now, I'll dump this here. Looks like I'm gonna need carrots soon. All the animals. So if we go there and there. No. We'll go there. Okay, so now that we have some iron, we can make a bunch of lanterns. Let's do that quickly, and then we'll go and try to find ourselves a horse. Um, I'm gonna have to throw this down. like that make a bunch of lanterns so we can light up our house area now okay so the balcony or the porch now has all kinds of light um, put a light here we can get rid of the torch Hang one at the door, one in the corner. Well, we went through that many already? Jeez, okay. Dang, we burned through torches quite quickly, apparently, with that. A few more. One in the corner. That's it for down up here or here. We'll go to our attic. I think that's enough light, I hope. Okay, hopefully that's enough. And if we go down, we have one there. Here, hang one in the corner. Somewhat decent and light. <clears throat> okay, so that, that, there. Is that enough light? have 
here. It should be enough. Okay, so we need to... I need to make... I think I'm going to need more. Oh, maybe I don't need more. But I think having a crafting table here is also a good idea. So let's make pants, have the helmet, chest plate, and booties. Grab this. We'll do helmet first. Blast protection? Eh, maybe not. Hey, okay, regular protection, I'll take it. Un Ooh, oh, that's that's really good iron boots. And I need more levels. Okay, so I think we're gonna do this. I still need to get some more levels for the pants. Pants having on breaking would be very good. Aqua affinity on the hat would be very good too. So we need to get some more levels it looks like. Best way to do that is to go up to the mob farm, but we need to. I need to clear my inventory a little bit first. And I still haven't moved all my stuff from the hidey hole into the house yet, but that that'll happen eventually. It's just it'll take some time. Okay, so we do that. We can do this, this, this. I think the rest will just kind of keep on us. I'm gonna need more food, so I'm gonna go. Go steak. Needs to cook up that little bit of beef there. That's fine. We need a few more levels. Having this much iron is so nice, actually. It opens up all kinds of stuff for us now. Oh, and that only took maybe a half hour, maybe, to set up. Maybe even less than that. Hardest part was getting the zombie. Villagers weren't easy because we had them already set up. There's a savannah there. Maybe we can find our horse there? I don't know. Having horses to, to get around is super nice. Oh. So we're going to... The main objective for today is to get a horse and to somehow get some bees set up, hopefully. I don't know if we'll get a complete bee farm, but some bees would be very nice to get. <laughs> oh, we, we still have mobs here? Oh, jeez. Okay. We're gonna let them build up for a minute. I need to grab a drink. So the only downside with this is that it's very noisy. And we don't have a sound muffler to kind of quiet it. I still haven't seen any spiders, so not sure if that top one's actually working or not. Here. So 
we're gonna go down and make like, I don't know, a bunch of chests, I don't know. I should have done, I should have done that before we went up there, but that's fine. We can still do it. It's not a problem. I missed. Dang that bit. I was looking away for a moment. Oh, get out. Probably make it out of the bamboo, actually. Eight. Yeah, that would be enough double chests. For sure. For now, anyway. I'm gonna go back up to get our levels. We'll enchant our gear. And I know it's not diamond gear, but that's fine. Iron gear is still decent. We're not... We don't have unlimited diamonds yet, so... We're quite a ways away from that yet, but we basically have unlimited iron, so iron tools and stuff, that's still good. And this is basically our XP farm. Yes, we have the skelly grinder, but that's not nearly as efficient, I don't think. In my opinion, anyway. this and like that and then we'll just do like this so we can add that to that I may eventually sort this out but I don't know we'll see see what we can get in here and just start adding to the next one see I almost want to re-roll the chest plate too because just protection is not bad but having on breaking on it and with depth strider that's pretty decent iron boots so I think we'll need like at least level 35 again Chainmail helmet. I hear a spider. What does that have? Protection? See, I could put a grindstone up here. That would actually not be a bad idea. So we do that. Let's see, if we look like this, there is only nine? Hmm. Interesting. There should be a bunch more than that. There's only a handful. Okay. So we're like 200 blocks up, so... I would have thought that this would have had a lot more entities up there. There's 12, 14, 8, 10, 7, 13. Right here there's 6, 12 that way in that corner, 13. was another good way we could get XP is trading with villagers, but that's not nearly as much. We have to trade a lot. We don't have a whole lot to sell to farmers. Um, 
librarians we have to do paper, which we could do. Or not libraries, cartographers, my mistake. Okay, so add all this. Okay, so that one's basically full. Yeah. So then I start adding like this. Oh, now all of a sudden we're starting to pick up. 26, 30, okay, and 35, 20, 31, 30. Yeah, now it's starting to have a lot more entities up there. Yeah, it takes a little bit to get going, but once it does, yeah. Hey, another iron ingot. Oh, there's the spider. Yet to get a piece of string from a spider in here. Oh, don't want the creeper to blow up. Chainmail. If I do that, that'll be a little bit easier to kind of understand, I think. Okay. Oh, more arrows. Protection. So, I mean, not like great stuff, but. What are we looking at now? Now we're looking at 18, 17. All dark again, but it's not like 30s like it was. Fifteen, twenty, twenty-one. Maybe if I just kind of run around a little bit, get the mobs to hopefully spawn. So what this farm kind of relies on, and this, this farm relies on just them walking around, eventually falling into the water streams. Like some other farms don't do that. Some other farms just do slime blocks to push them off. Oh, there's a witch. That could be very useful. Hey, redstone. Okay. Unnecessary damage. Oh, wait, she dropped sugar too. Very nice. Gold hat. It's starting to turn daytime slowly. And that should help increase spawn rates too. Because we've still got like 20s, 25s. Zombie has a sword, did I see that right? Looks like a zombie had an iron sword there. Aren't, nighttime isn't as effective as daytime, but yeah. Hey, another iron ingot. Very nice. Ooh, another witch with more redstone. Is that glowstone? 
Hey, we got level 36. So dump. It was glowstone I saw. Okay. So we got 36. We should be okay to just drop down now. And go and actually do what I wanted to do today. Oh, Dolphin's Grace. I love Dolphin's Grace. Makes us go super fast. Yes, indeedy. Thank you, Dolphins. <laughs> Iron is just going to keep piling up. I am fine with that. Try to enchant and get all good gear, hopefully. So we are gonna grindstone the chest plate. Take the lapis pants. Unbreaking I will take it. Unbreaking fire protection? I mean, you know what? Yeah, I'll take it. Aqua affinity and hey, I'll take it. That's that's decent gear for iron armor. feel fairly protected. I mean, we got Aqua Affinity. Yeah, I like this set. It's not perfect by any means, but it's, it's much better than what we did have. Okay, so what we're gonna do, go over here. And then, Zambi. put away for now maybe not okay um i'm just gonna throw that in the corner for now okay so we need to find ourselves a horse and bees oh we got an extra bow i don't need to okay just eat that for now. Put away the extra diamond sword for now as well. What do we eat in its place? A cap. Don't need a leather cap in that chest. Okay. So now we gotta go and try to find ourselves a horse. Southwest. Or is it southeast? I think it was southeast. We just follow this along. And hopefully we can get ourselves a couple of horses. Oh, do I have... Well, if I get a couple, I don't know if I have any leads. Ooh. That could be an issue. I have no slime to make leads. Okay. That that could be difficult. Oh, I do. Perfect. That'll work just fine then. I'll just have to make a fence post, but we can do that later. Actually, I'm going to tame both, if I can get two, so we'll bring two saddles, and I'll bring a fence post anyway, just to have it. Okay, keep delaying the inevitable, but I just want to make sure I have enough stuff so we can do it. Okay, so now we're going to go and see if we can try to find a horse. Hopefully, we'll be able to. Because this is like a plains biome. I'm surprised it doesn't... Like, we don't have any spawning in here. We have all other passive mobs spawning in here, but not horses. So we're just gonna, I think, follow this along the ocean. If I recall correctly. 
which will lead us into a plains and savanna biomes to hopefully see if we can get some horses. I don't think they'll spawn in forest biomes. We have wolves. We could tame wolves, but... And cats, but... Um, also getting bees, we'll have to do that too. Uh, speaking of which, hello bee. Some piggies. reading the map correctly and just kind of follow this along get through the forest biomes which should lead us to near where the savannah and plains biome is which is where horses generally spawn there's a jungle hello cow not to cross the river because I think we have to follow along with the river. I mean, this would have been better to take a boat, but it's fine. I think we're still heading southish, southeastish, kind of, sort of. There's the birch. Yeah, I really should have made a boat. Birch, lots of sand, dark oak, I, I think it's southeast, right? Yeah, we're still heading southeast, okay. The dark oaks are dangerous because mobs can sometimes spawn in here. Whoa, Azalea. Oh, oh, hello. Azalea, that typically means... I know what that means. Rooted dirt. That means it is a... Lush cave. Yeah, copper. I don't like copper. Iron. <laughs> I'm going to ignore it. Because I don't need it. I believe those are rose bushes, I believe. Once we get back up, I'll show you. Wow, this is a lot of rooted dirt. And there is the lush cave. Oh, that hurts. Oh, 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 high endermans. Okay, now we have azalea trees. Azalea trees are so pretty. There. Oh, I suppose nobody can see anything. Um, nah. Nah. Torchies. Okay. I just, I wanted the azalea trees, really, is all I'm really after. Because azalea trees are actually kind of cool. I like them. We have moss, so we should be okay. leaf. Okay. I like azalea trees. Okay. So we got some stuff here. Now where did we come down? Here-ish? I think. Like right in here.
close. How much really dirt did we get? Okay, well, I'm going to do this. We'll just use... And then I think we'll just use the diorite to get up, I guess. Along with... Cobble. Okay. So you wanted to know... Okay. Red block? Are you talking like those? Or are you talking... The rose bushes? Which are... Over here. I think is where we saw them. Or is it those big red ones you're... The big red things there? Those? Those things? Right? Yeah, those those are mushrooms. Whoa, hi. So these are mushroom blocks. And basically, do we have we don't have any bones. So you break it, and sometimes they drop the red mushrooms here. And if you grow the red mushrooms, they grow into like it's a big mushroom, is all it really is. It's just a big mushroom. A big old mushroom. You got the red ones, and then you have brown ones as well. Um, there's the brown ones. So yeah, you got like brown ones as well. Same concept. You take the, you break them, you get the little mushrooms, you bone meal them. They have to be grown in darkness though, otherwise they won't grow. So it's not always safe. But yeah, mushroom blocks are interesting for sure. Yeah, no worries. Any questions, please feel free to ask. You know that. Oh, freaking skelly blends in with the birch. Go away. I'm not after skellies right now. It's a lot of cow. Holy cows. What is with all these cows? What in the world? That's a lot of cows. Mr. Skelly, you can stop, please. Okay, can I show you? I can show you. So we'll take the bones. And I will take a red mushroom. We got enough space here. So here, I'll show you. Why won't it let me place it? Oh, I think it has to be placed on... Oh, I can't remember. Does it have to be placed in complete darkness? I think it does. Which is why... I... So, okay, so it has to be completely dark. And then you bone meal it, and it grows. So, yeah. That's what those do. I'm just gonna toss some of this stuff out I don't need. There. I hope that helps. I showed it to you. Yeah, mushrooms are definitely interesting. They're very they they take a specific set of requirements to grow, so. Oh, powerful skellies with bows, with powerful bows. Run away. Run away, run away, run away. See, I thought you were talking about, like, these, because these are rose bushes. Chicken. Pumpkin. Where is the savanna biome I'm looking for? Here's skelly, run from skellies. Don't want to deal with the skelly right now. Okay. Oh, 
I'm just making sure. Not everybody knows what everything is, so. There's another one. She's trying to find. Where's it? Baby pig! Hey! Kind of funny to see a baby pig. Ah, hi, Skelly. Run away. Don't. No. Can, ah. Don't want to deal with the Skelly right now. I mean, you can. It's possible. You definitely can. You just need to put a saddle on it and get a carrot on a stick. You can ride a pig. It's not fast, but yeah, you can ride a pig. It's over here. There's some light. A high creeper. Is this all lava pool? It is. I would show you. I just don't have the stuff on me to make uh, a stick. Fishing rod with a carrot basically is what that is. Put a saddle on a pig and you can ride a pig. Sheep startled me. Oh, that that's dangerous. That's really dangerous right there. Oh, what the fudge? Freaking Zambi. Oh my gosh. Skelly, stop. Ah, no. What is that? That's spruce. Well, apparently there's going to be a forest fire. Southwest, don't I? Or southeast? Am I am going the right direction. I don't know. Thought we were. Maybe it's just a lot further away than I thought. You like the spyglass? Yeah, it's really helpful. Helps you see things a little bit further away. It's like a zoom. Oh, that's danger. It's a lot of danger. And the sun is coming up, it looks like. Oh, hey, there's planes, finally. We made it to the planes biome. Oh, fudge, jeez. Dang spider, don't be startling me like that. Okay, so Plains Biome is very good for us because hopefully we need some horses to spawn. It's a big Plains Biome if I recall correctly. Oh yeah, we can always set up here too. I mean, we can make multiple bases. Because I think that would actually be a good idea. Whoa, 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 wandering trader. Hi. Um, I don't have any emeralds. That's not good. Um, oh, hey, there's a village, too. <laughs> of course. Lots of animals. I just need horses. I want horses, please. Because we're in the right area for horses. Where did the Wandering Trader run off to now? Where, where is it? Zombie died off. Okay. Pig. Okay, there's Wandering Trader. Can I um see what you have, sir? Ooh, hay bills for that? We could do... Potion of Invisibility? 
That's an amazing thing. I actually like that. Holy crap, for the first time ever, the wandering trader has good trades. Weed seed that's horrible. Cherry sapling? Small drip leaf? Cherry sapling would be nice. I just don't have emeralds right now. That invisibility potion for eight minutes is really good, actually. I wish I had emeralds, but I don't. I don't have a backpack or anything on me, which I wish they would actually implement into the game. Okay, so all kinds of passive mobs. I need a horses though, please. I need some horsies. We can check the village. The village might have horsies. Cows. 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 Not seeing horses. Lots of chickens. Lots of sheep. Hey, there's horses. Horses. Oh, and they are wild. They're not. Well, I guess technically they're in the village. Um, so I need a saddle. You're gonna buck me off. Well, I want to tame you, please. My goodness. And there's a blacksmith in that village too. Wow, you're taking a lot to tame. There we go. Oh, you're at you're nice, decent speed. Okay. Let's see what your other ones, the other horses over here have. See if how good they are. This feels like a fairly fast, faster one too. My goodness. My my my. There we go. Oh yeah, that's a nice fast horse. So the question now is. Can you get, jump over a fence? You can. Okay. So now we gotta try this one, right? Oh my. Oh my. Nice, decent size horse, decent speed. Okay, I think all these horses are fairly good. This one seems like the slower one of the three. That has a higher jump, okay. That's fine. I think I'm just gonna put them all in this pen here. If I can. I like this one. Doesn't have the best jump, but it can still get over fences and such. about horses that they can stay in there. Okay. Either way, it doesn't really matter. I'm gonna keep the horses in here no matter what, and then we can always come back to them because it is a village. There is a blacksmith I want to investigate here. Another grindstone. I'm going to take that. Diamonds! Iron! We have boots, but... Diamonds are always good. Is there anything else here I would want to look at? 
purchase some cows. This would have been a nice place to actually set up. But it's fine. <clears throat> okay. So... I think there's anything in this village that we're actually probably going to need. Best one was this blacksmith one. But that's not going to have a chest. I don't know if this one will. It does, but nothing great. Okay, so now we got to try to work our way home. It's not going to be easy. What time of day is it? It's midday. Okay, so... I'm going to grab one of these guys. Oh, wrong one. I'll take the one that actually has the saddle. Oh, that's a nice high jumper. And can we lead you with us? We can. Right? Yeah. So we're just going to work our way back home then. So now we have horsies. Yay, horsies are always good. Hey, baby sheep. For a second I thought I saw a creeper. I suppose if I do this... And kind of make sure that I bring in the horse the entire time. But that's not always easy to do either. Because we can do this. If we see the lead snap, we'll know. But it's always going to be hard to navigate a forest. Hmm. Try to stay towards the edge, I guess. to navigate during the day, of course, when there's no mobs. Or, there's mobs, just not hostile mobs I can't see. Um. Ah! See, I can't see anything. There we go. Okay. And breaking leaves is not easy on horseback. If I can avoid the trees, it'd be better. Uh oh. We lost horsey. Where did we lose the horse? We lost it somewhere. Where did I lose it? There it is. Don't know where the lead went, but. <clears throat> oh, there's a lead right in front of my face. Without taking too much damage. And now it's going to be nighttime, which is going to be even harder. You got to cross the river no matter what, so. Come over 
here, I guess. Okay. to like make a path. I know this is the most dangerous thing to do at nighttime, but I need to make a path so the horses can get through. So we go this way, we can go through here. This should be fairly simple. I'm trying to stay close to the edge of the water all the way back. Okay, that should help clear a path. Okay, it's just so hard because it's nighttime. Mobs will be spawning all over the place, so. you I'm gonna have you follow us just try and let some of these leaves despawn so we can actually get through oh and it's raining joy I can try to stay towards the edge here. We should be okay, I think. Okay. Going up through here is problematic, unfortunately. Ah, run from the creeper. We do not want to have creeper incident. We do not need creeper issues. Or spider issues for that matter. Just keep on running. Keep on running from all the nasties. Oh no, we lost him. Crap. I do need names for these guys though. Okay, I don't care. The creeper can follow me as long as you don't hurt the horsies. Okay, so now I gotta make a path to get the horse up on land. I 
because I had two leads. I don't know where the other one went. Come on, come on. Up, 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 up. There we go. Okay. I don't want to deal with the spider, but I saw the horse go this way, I think. Where'd you go, big horsey? It's a sheep. Spider. Man. It's a sheep. There's the horse right in front of my face. Okay, I really don't know what happened to the other lead, but that's fine. All we know is we gotta try to get back towards base. But it's proven to be a little bit more of an issue. That looks like a nasty hole. Oh, don't you dare, Skelly. How dare you hurt me? Or my horses. Ouch! No, don't be hurting the horses. Oh my gosh. On you, we gotta try to ride back. Keeper there is try. There's the pumpkins, okay. So can we make this little jump across this baby river? Oh, there's a little, a little gap here we can Cross, right? Yeah, perfect. Okay. Okay, now to get through these creepers and this birch forest. Typically, the birch forest is fairly easy to get through because thankfully there's a lot of space, usually. of the river again. I can't tell if those are passive or hostile. Oh, baby zombie. Oh, jeez. Another baby zombie. Okay, time to just run from them. Please tell me you're staying up, okay. No. No, 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 no. <sighs> no. Evil creepers. have to abandon the horse temporarily. Oh my gosh, mobs. Seriously. Stop. Oh my gosh, seriously? We're dead. Yep, we're dead. Don't even know where we were. So now we gotta go try to find them. That's gonna be the hardest part. Because I don't know where we were at. All I know is I had a lot of unnecessary stuff in my inventory that didn't help. Stuff like that. Stuff like that. Ah, well, at least we have our keep inventory stuff on, so now we gotta try to go and find them. 
mean, there's a birch forest near the edge or whatever, so maybe I'll grab a boat then. See if we can't try to rescue our horses. Such a pain. Nighttime is always such a pain. Right, southeast. Yeah. I'm going to turn this back on. I don't know how close we were, but. like a river so there's a bunch of birch maybe we were closer than I thought I don't know I think it was over I'm guessing it was over kind of this way Chickens. I think it was this way. I don't know. That's the frustrations. we were near dark oak or not I don't remember seeing birch but or uh, jungle rather oh maybe I was closer than I thought okay uh, yes because that's yeah okay we are closer than I thought okay dang creeper holes Okay, well, both horses are here. I just don't know if we lost both leads. It'd be kind of nice if we could get those back. I don't know how else I would make them without having slime. Oh, later, Jer. Well, that does... Oh, hi. Okay, you drop string, that's fine, but I don't have slime. And I don't know how to lure... Do I have wheat? No. Okay, well... It's an arrow... Oh, there is a lead right there. Perfect. I'm going to throw this, this, and this. And I think we can do this now. So we're going to get on you. I mean, either way, it doesn't matter, but... Oh, yeah, you guys are both taking a lot of damage. And there's a way to heal them. That typically is with hay bales. You only have three hearts left. That is... Oh, come on, man. You only have three hearts left, which is not good, but... Still got a little ways to go yet. Okay, 
so we'll get home close here. The hardest part is going to be getting across here. Another zombie. Of course, we would have to lose the horse again. stay as close to this beach as I can. We've lost one lead, so that's not great. Okay, so here we're going to have to try to get across. I'm going to do this. I'm going to need you across first. And I'll come back for the other horsey. And the horsey's going the wrong way. Okay. I gotta go back and get this horse. Pull it across the little river ocean section here. Whatever the case may be, whatever it's called. Come on, you. Are you full health? You're mostly full health. Okay. So we're going to ride you and pull you along. Some turtles. Um. <laughs> Pretty sure we can make that little bit. There you go. Now to get through the forest again. It's kind of the hard part. way. Trying to make it through this forest is not easy. Oh my gosh, this forest is thick. Oak. Making our way, we should be almost home now. Close to it anyway. Yes, we are. Very nice. Okay. Okay, so we're going to do here, and jump up and over, there we go, made it just in time too. Oh, that's a nice storm jumper, very nice, okay, so, we need another lead so that these guys don't go anywhere.
mistake. Okay, so for right now, we're gonna put both these guys on a lead. You guys are both there. You can't really go too far. Okay. Very good. Very good. Very good. So now we have horses. We can always breed them too. But I think first things first. We need to heal them. And I believe the way we do that... Is hay bales. I don't remember which one's the worst off, so it's the spotted one. There we go, we healed you up. Perfect. Okay. Very good. Uh, wheat farms here. Okay, so. The logs here, Zelia trees. Uh, so these are just the saplings. These don't have to. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna put this stuff down here for now. Uh, I might as well put the leather there as well. Boat there, and diamonds there, um, stack of dirt, some sticks, cobble that I don't need. I wonder if I can get an infinity bow, that'd be really nice. It's nighttime, I should sleep. things, but the only way to get that is via a uh, villager, or fishing, I think. Um, I want to put the grindstone up at the farm there. I should also grab a bucket of lava. Um... I don't have like a trash can up there, but like I don't know how to make one. <laughs> Maybe. See if we can somehow make a little pit that we could throw trash in up there. How's iron doing? Oh, yeah, we're, we're pretty dang good on iron for a while. So I'll go up, see if I can make a little section or something that I could throw a bunch of trash in that I don't want. So we got horses. Okay. Next objective is bees. And I think that's going to take a little bit more because we got to use oak or birch. I mean, we're in a plains biome, so it shouldn't be too hard, but it has to be near flowers. And then the best time to, like, do anything with those is... Harvest it with silk touch, which I don't 
don't know if I have Silk Touch on anything as of right now. So I think kind of what I want to do is create like a little section somewhere. Well, I didn't want to lose that, but okay. like this and I don't have any fudge um, for right now I'm going to temporarily borrow this we do this take the water refill it there there now I have like a trash can this got this for up here as well so that we could like you know, do that with this kind of stuff oh my gosh you guys are loud bows down. Let's see if we could enchant it. See what we could get out of it. safe. So how many entities are up here now? 11, 12, It's all like 10, 11, 12, 13. Not like a huge amount right now. I find very odd, but. enough to potentially get us an infinity bow would be really helpful. I guess we'll find out, huh? Oh yeah, and the speed in the water is also much better too because of the depth strider. Very nice, very nice. a crafter block? I don't even know how to make the crafter block in 121. I know there's a way to, I just don't know how to. So let's see if we can enchant the bow. Unbreaking, I mean that's basically what we have now, right? Power 3. Was not easily enchantable. It's fine. <laughs> it is fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. So now we're going to work on trying to get some bees, I think. Which should be fairly simple. 
Um, I'm just going to gather up a bunch of flowers, basically. And I, I don't have silk touch on anything. I could uh, maybe if we check a book maybe because there's no easy way to get silk touch I don't think destiny smite it's all on breaking so you have no idea okay <laughs> Just trying to think how we can get Silk Touch to do the bee stuff. Unless we do a pickaxe. I mean, we could try like an iron pickaxe maybe? I don't have any logs on me. Doesn't have to be like, super fancy. Could try an iron pickaxe and an iron axe and see if we could get lucky. I assume we don't have to have the max level enchant. Let's still touch for the bees would be very helpful. So we can move things around. So we're going to do a pickaxe and an axe and see what we can possibly get. Unbreaking. Efficiency, efficiency, dang. You know, I got a couple more tries here. Nope. Well, dang. So I'm out of levels. Well, I'm out of lapis, basically. But also levels. Do I have lapis? I don't know if I do. I don't know if I have a whole lot of lapis left. We basically get that from a cleric villager. Like the only like thing I can't get from villagers right now is mending. I wonder if I try a little bit higher level item. Like something like that. Maybe we could get something like some touch on another diamond axe. That'd be very helpful. shall see, I guess. Ah, no. Fortune 2. Yeah, nope. Does not seem to be happening. Because our lack of levels right now is what uh, I think the thing is that we're lacking. Um, like I said, training with the villagers is nice, but I don't think... I mean, I can try to level up the cartographers, then we could do glass trades. Glass pane trades, basically. I could also work on trying to automate some farms. I'd probably rather do those underground. Set up above ground, because it'd be much better. But let's trade with the villagers, see how much, uh, with the paper and such, I can get. But now that I have iron, I can automate bulk bamboo, sugar cane, melons and pumpkins, crops. Not nearly as much, because there's no way to, like, replant them easily. Not in vanilla, anyway.
you know, we could set up a very basic sugarcane farm and bamboo farm, both of which would be very easy to do. Okay, let's get some paper going. I do have some dirt. Okay, so let's see if we can't get some XP from the villagers. Level them up, hopefully. So, barbarians are kind of useless right now. Okay, level you up. Burn through paper so quick, dang. Oh, and then I have to do a man. That's no fun. I thought it was the second trade that we would get the glass panes, but it's not. Oh, that's so frustrating. Um, Fletchers I'm not too worried about. Librarians, we're not going to be able to get anything out of these guys that I want. And then the farmer guys. Give me carrots. Okay, so I think what I'll actually do is I think I'll set we will set up a uh, sugarcane farm and a bamboo farm. We should be able to do it fairly simply, I hope. I mean, we have the resources too, but I did want to get bees, right? Okay, one thing at a time, one thing at a time, one thing at a time. Even if I do get the bees, they can fly away, so it's not going to be really helpful. So I think I'm going to wait on the bees for right now. Um, I'm going to take... Oh, I need cobble, don't I? Oh. That could be an issue. Because I don't have a whole lot of cobble. For pistons. Ooh. That could be a problem, actually. Um... Yeah, I do need cobblestone. And I don't think we have a whole lot. That might be enough to get us a little bit, but not a huge amount. Okay, well... I think first things first. Um, we're gonna need some... Thanks. Guess we're gonna have to go over to yonder. Oh, I know what I came down here for. I need cobble for that too. Use the this stuff. Can I use mossy cobble? I don't know if I can. Okay, so I need to make an observer. And then we need to make Oh, we need, um, yeah, we need planks for the piston heads. So we can do six. Can we make it with mossy cobble? I don't think we can. No, it has to be regular cobble. Okay, so it's fine. Um... I think for right now, I'll at least show you guys the idea. Um, I'm going to need water because it's sugar cane. Ideally, we'd want to do a lot more, but for demonstration purposes, we'll just do this. One, two, three, four, five, six. So what we'll do here, like this, we'll do that, and then nope, 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 wrong, wrong, wrong. Wait, no, that was right. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
So we do this. We get the pistons. Two, three, four, five, six. Kind of block this in. And then what we're going to do... Place this one, I guess. Like this. Nope, we don't want down. So that it detects that. And then we'll grab. Throw a bamboo forest. I'll take the six for right now. So if we basically do that. will be some loss unfortunately but just kind of the way it is through so like that so if we do that that's gonna pulse and it, see and it pulsed but it didn't think as soon as it detects a growth state it'll do that and then we can put a hopper down there to collect into a chest uh, that's yeah that's exactly what I was thinking was gonna happen Instead, what we'll do just need one more block, doesn't have to be anything fancy. I think something like that should work. I know there's a much better way to do it, but it's basically the, the observer will detect when the sugar cane grows, and it'll do a pulse, the pulse will get flashed, and it'll force the pistons to all go at once. Let's just get a couple of chests. Basically, chests, and then take the hopper. Oh, well, crap, did that wrong. <coughs> and whoopsie daisy, so we gotta go down one more, basically. Chest. Ah, dang it. Hopper. And then ideally, you want a, like a glass block or something to prevent everything else. Let me grab glass blocks so ideally you'd want something like this and then 
you just need a way to access the chest, basically. Like so. And then we usually recommend some kind of light. Ouch, dang it. Bumped that too hard. So that should work just fine. So there's automated. Now you could probably do this on a lot bigger scale, and you have to with sugarcane because sugarcane is such a slow growing crop. But that's the basic premise. So as long as this one will grow, the rest of these will grow, and then it gets pushed. The sugarcane may land there. A better one would be to have a minecart hopper underneath all this. The rail system. But usually this doesn't do too bad from my experience. Let's see, instead of using just one observer, I could take this observer, I could take like three observers instead of one. But yeah, like I can't force this to grow. But like for instance for the bamboo, that would be very easy. Um, I don't know like the crafter block. Can we make that yet? I don't know. I don't know if we can make that just yet. Or how we would even make it to be honest. See if I can look it up really quick. Oh, so you need a dropper. No wonder we can't make it. Okay, so. We have the ingots. We need a crafting table. And then what do we need? And a dropper, which is cobblestone, which I don't have. Oh boy. So yeah, we're gonna have to make like a good cobblestone farm apparently. this we have to make a dropper and now I can make the crafter see okay so now I know how to make that we could take that from like for say like the bamboo for instance craft that into planks but I don't know how we would set that up like would be basically unlimited wood essentially and I think if I remember right so I'm just gonna take like a bunch of bamboo bugging me um so we'll take like this and like let's say we place it you do that i don't know if it just requires a redstone torch oh it does okay so you do that and then i don't know it spits it out I'm 
have to look this up because this is going to be super handy for us. But then you can turn that into this. So if we make like another one. Because it doesn't matter what slot, right? And we'll turn it into planks, right? Yeah. Okay, so we need to make another one. I'm about to mine up a bunch of cobble, it looks like. Oh, I need more iron. Huh, funny. Just made the craft, but what am I missing? Why am I drawing a complete blank right now? Oh, crafting table. No wonder. Okay. <laughs> Which I guess that makes sense. Here, well, I guess it doesn't, no, I don't want to do that. I want to go like this, I guess, and do like this. <laughs> so let's say it does that. Okay, that definitely is automatable. I just don't, I'm not good with it, so like, yeah. I'll have to look it up for sure. Which is probably what I'll end up working on here in the next day or so, a few days or whatever. Cause that is a very powerful thing. So yeah, we'll definitely have to do that for sure. I mean, we have a little bit of redstone, but the bamboo, I mean, yeah, that's basically infinite wood, essentially, instead of actual trees. Logs and planks are always useful. I just don't know how to set up redstone circuits. I'm not good with that kind of stuff, but I will figure it out. Um, so bees require silk touch, which is what we can't do, unfortunately. Um, just because I don't have the ability to get silk touch right now. But I think we're just gonna wrap it up there for today. We got the main objective, which was getting horsies. So I'm gonna wrap it up there for today. So as always, thank you everybody for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Take care everyone, bye-bye.